towards the Super Bowl. We're getting set for this division as well. And the other team coming off a win. Man, we felt the energy in the stadium. We know the team that's coming off the bye. They're rested. Their fans are fired up. It is going to be an exciting start. He's got a chance to return this one. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. First down at the 27. Up the gut here. The Packers now moves the chains. Davis is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the... First down here after the run. Press coverage all the way. The 49ers lined up in the nickel. Davis is taking the handoff. Games 12. I think when I was playing, anytime we crossed the 50 yard line, it was kind of like a big sigh of relief because I knew now that there were a lot of things that could take place. I could afford to take sacks, I could uh, afford to be a little more aggressive. Let's see how the offense reacts to this. First down at the 47. Lacey takes the hit and is brought down. That's going to be a pickup of three. Here's a look at the offensive unit that needs to get off to a strong start today. This will be second down. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. From the shotgun. Has his target. Game. Well, the quarter route. Some people call it the quarter route. They call it a flag. Run to the flag of the end zone. Or a seven route. Odd numbers break out. That time we see a nice route by the receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. Lacey lines up in the backfield. Now first and ten. Davis got it on the handoff. The Packers get a first down. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. Come to the line, and it's first down. Jim, I think this is a blitz. Look how close everybody is to the line of scrimmage. And that's a two-yard game. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. To the two yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. The 49ers load up the box, going with the 46 defense. Davis gonna secure the handoff, slashes to the left side. He gets into the end zone, capping off the long run. Playoffs are so tough on players and coaches mentally. When you score first in a divisional round playoff game, that is some advantage. Gives you confidence, makes everybody feel good. And the point after is good. The Packers getting set to kick it away. And he 
He's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The defensive line's all shifting to the right. They're going to try to find a way to pressure the quarterback. Wilson with the reception. The old-fashioned way of picking up big yardage is running the fly route on the outside. Show the speed of the receiver and the strength of the quarterback's arm. What a nice completion. Linebackers moving around like this, that means they're probably going to blitz. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. The line of scrimmage, the 43 yard line. Let's go. First down at the 43. Catch made. And the tackle is made at the 41. Second down after that pass play. The 49ers snap it at the 41. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well, and he picks his way through there, picks up a first down. That's, that's nice. Set up now at the 32. First and 10. Luke Wilson has the catch. I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end, rush the quarterback. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Here's the handoff. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. Seven. Let's go. Hines going to take the handoff now. Let's take a look at the starting lineups on the defensive side. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The Packers packing the box here. 46 formation. Right back to him once more. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. Game to the NFL can hinge on third and short. Who could pick them up and who could stop them? How about that play that time by the defense? They stopped the third and short run, and now it's fourth down. With almost an entire quarter in the books, they at least have a field goal to brag about. Jim, it's kind of like a round of golf. You know a lot about that. Sometimes you don't birdie or par the first couple holes, but it's a long contest. It's a long game, and I think they got their confidence going with that field goal.
playing press coverage to the outside. The Packers come to the line and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Airing it out. The ball is taken out of his hands. Got to give the defense a lot of a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Out of the shotgun. Pass is intercepted. Just out of the first quarter, and we'll see now if the offense can capitalize on this opportunity to get back into the game. I would expect them to right here. They understand after a couple times out there what the defense is doing. Now take advantage of that, especially in this situation right after a turnover. The Packers out now in a 4-6 formation. Makes the catch in open space. From inside the red zone. First down here after the completion. They'll run it off the toss. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. What a job by the defense down on the goal line. They were playing run all the way. It was a run. They got the penetration and they tackled the runner for a loss. Defensive backs out on the field for this one. Third and goal from the nine. Makes the reception. Gets about four yards that time. Nice catch that time by the receiver on the slant route. Quarterback puts it right on target. And converts on the three. That field goal narrows the gap here in the early part of the second quarter, Phil. Yeah, it was a good drive, Jim, that time. It's a morale booster. It gives you energy and did everything for your football team. I know it was just a field goal, but I thought it was very important for the football team. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Packers offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So if you made that mistake, let go, go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. Defense is crowding a lot of scrimmage. They're trying to confuse the quarterback. We're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. The Packers snap it at the 31. Davis with the reception. Jim, if the receiver's open, throw him the football because here's just a good example. When a guy catches the football short, if he can just break that tackle, they can pick up those extra yards. Good job by the quarterback and receiver that time. First down, offense readying for the snap. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And Davis is banned at the football for about four. The Packers would love to run the ball like they have so far. Davis taking the ball, and he's leading this team on the field right now. Boy, he sure is. And I give him a lot of credit, but i also say this. The offensive line, anytime you see a running game go this well, you've got to give a lot of credit to the old lineman. The defensive line, they're shifting. They're getting into a spread look. I think they think this is going to be a pass. Intercepted. That interception. 
interception was very timely, and now they can jump in front before halftime if they act quickly. Well, shoot, on the defensive side, all interceptions are timely. That was a really good play, good call by the coach. But how about the effort getting that interception? That was terrific. Got drilled as he throws it. Second down. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. And this goes incomplete as he was looking over the middle. Third long situations. A lot of coordinators in this league will run a draw play on third long. Why? Because they're just looking for field position, pick up a few yards, and then by some miracle, if the running back's able to make guys miss, break some tackles, and pick up a first down, man, that's just great. This is third down. The 49ers lined up. Bunch formation. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Got the completion. Huge yardage picked up and finally tackled at the end. The 49ers put themselves in a terrible situation third and long but you know what they got a lot of talent on the offensive side and that was an awesome job of picking up that first down let's see what they do on first down following that huge play that's a gain of only a yard good coaching on the defensive side everybody stays at home they stay in their gap and they hold that run to a short game That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. The Packers come out in a dime package. They'll go ground. And gains maybe four. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short gain. up to the line at the 14. The 49ers come out with a split backfield. Third and five. Carlos Hyde has the catch. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle. And now we have fourth down coming up. Chip shot here. Two-minute warning. A short field goal try on the way. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. It's a field goal just before the intermission and to move them in front. When you make a field goal late in the second quarter, Jim, it just eases the tension of your football team, of the coaches, and even the fans are happy sometimes when you take a lead late in the second quarter. The Packers offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. Davis is tackled down at the 24. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Good job by the offense going the hurry-up offense. You do this to get the plays in, but also you want to conserve the timeouts. A nice going to take it the distance. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. And as we near the half, the lead now is theirs thanks to that touchdown. Yeah, you know, how. look at that. Just think about how much that changes the mentality of both teams. One now all psyched up and mostly feeling great and the defensive side oh my gosh they are down and have to be disappointed about how they played on that drive they're setting up the return and the tackles made right around the 25 yard line 
the 49ers bring their offense onto the field. The last time they had control of the football, they did not come away empty-handed, but did not get a touchdown either. Well, they got that field goal, and I think that's important. That field goal gave them a little confidence. They got some points up there that always makes you feel good on the offensive side. Now take advantage of that good feeling. Go out there and score a touchdown this time. Let's see the Dontari Poe with the sack. Well, defensive tackles so many times are in charge of stopping a run, but not this time. The big fellow, good move at the snap of the football, gets in that backfield and gets the sack. Quarters formation here for the defense. The quarterback. He's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. Snap it out of the gun. And now he'll take off. Looking long, but it's incomplete. Nice job that time by the quarterback. He gets outside the pocket because of pressure, but not able to complete the pass. They face third down after the incomplete pass. The Packers decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. The offense now needs to pick up the first here on third down after that incompletion. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. the gun he rips it right out of the wide receiver's hands good job that time by the secondary they're in good position they make the play and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback And that punt is going out of bounds. They are not going to allow them to return it. The Packers heading back onto the field on offense. They scored on their last drive, Phil, and they did it with a blistering aerial attack. Quarterback is hot. He is getting protected. Oh, man, what do you do now? I think if you're an offensive coordinator, it doesn't matter what you call. You know your guys are going to make it work. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Second down after the incompletion. The 49ers sat at the line. Dime package. They'll go shotgun here. It's Jalen Strong with the catch. That's his first reception today. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. He's wide open for the grab. Tackle is made at the 35-yard line. Not surprised at all to see this hurry-up offense in a situation like this in the NFL now. you got to be the aggressor. And intercepted! Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. The 49ers weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here. Do you think they are going to vary their approach, Phil? Well, I hope so. I think they will. They, they got a lot of the information out there in that short drive, Jim, and you do that by showing different formations and plays. You saw how the defense reacted to it. Now you counter-react and see if you can get some positive play. I'm sure they're tired of being in the three-and-out business. Well, that's a bad business to be in. I know. I get in a lot of bad businesses. The 49ers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Second down and three following that nice run. Let's go. Three, three. From the shotgun. 
looking to go down the field here. And he knocks the ball out of his hands. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good. The football falls incomplete. The 49ers with an empty backfield Let's look go. here. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Clutch catch. That's his first reception today. Offense going to stop the game here with a timeout. And now lining up for a 53-yard field goal. No good. No good. That would have taken some of the pressure off them going into halftime. Instead, the lead is going to stay right where it is. I don't think the coach is going to be mad at the field goal kicker. I think he's going to be mad at his offense because they failed to convert on third down when the opportunity was there. First down at the 43 breaks away. That's a gain of six. Both teams head to the locker rooms after a half dominated by the defenses. We've got a close one on our hands, friends. We'll send it out to Larry Ridley to break down the half as we continue in a moment. And this will be coming out to the 20 as he thinks better of running it out of the end zone this time. The 49ers talk things over at the intermission and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going Phil absolutely that's what you want to do and I think you do that by play call so the coach they have many plays right. that we call right. drive starters catch the defense by surprise they need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going second down coming up From the gun. Another takeaway. Just out of the half, and they look to put points on the board to grab control of this game after the pick. They have a chance to really change this football game entirely. If they go down and score, that puts so much pressure on the opponents, I don't think they can handle it. They come to the line of scrimmage in an excellent starting point. The Packers will take the snap from the 30. Davis met at the 30. This next play comes from the 30. Second down and 10. Finds Cobb. And a gain of four. That's his first reception today. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches, running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. Third down on the way. Look out here. They're going to blitz. They're all packing the line of scrimmage. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Finds his mark. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. The Packers for the score and that touchdown puts them in the driver's seat early stages of the second half you know somewhere along the line you got to take a stand and you just got to say I've had enough and on, on the defensive side they didn't do that in that drive so maybe the they could come out on the offensive side find a way to score some points and get back into this game Smartly takes the knee in the end zone. 
The 49ers are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, Phil. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation. Can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. Let's go. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. And they can connect. That incompletion by the quarterback. Hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. Look at the defensive linemen talking. They're all now shifting to the left. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Chandler Jones gets to the quarterback. When you take a blindside hit like that, oh, my gosh, do they hurt. And you get up, you make sure you're okay, then you try to find out who's responsible for you getting you hit like that. Loss of four on the play. Quarters formation here for the defense. Third and a long way to go. And he's going to be sacked. So, just three plays and out for the offense. All set to punt here. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. The fumble by the kick return team and look out. The football goes out there. They make the recovery. Well, good job of them. The Packers have extended their halftime lead, and they haven't wasted any time in doing so as they continue to motor up and down the field. You know, this is what you got to do in this league now. When you got it, when it's going well on the offensive side, don't slow down, don't get conservative, keep it going, try to score points, and just dominate the other team. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. The 49ers with a nickel look here on defense. Davis taking the handoff. Wide to the left. And Davis is marked down at the 41. It'll be third down. Drop back, shotgun formation. He'll throw it over the middle. The Packers are going to punt the football. That beautifully executed punt now really will help out this defense, forcing the opposition to start the next drive inside the 10. The offense is backed up. The 49ers offense coming back onto the field here, desperately trying to avoid a repeat of their last drive when they had the quick three and out. I'll tell you what, if they go three and out again, you know what's going to happen? Those defensive players are going to be looking at them as they come off the field. You're putting us back out there already, so it's important to get a drive, give your defense a little rest. Second and nine coming up. The 49ers at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. Look out. They're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Second down and nine. He has the grab. Well, when you're down a couple scores in the second half, you're just looking for some positives and trying to get some momentum on your side. So that first down by the offense, maybe that'll give them some confidence, and we'll see where they go with it from here. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. 
They'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. There's a flag right there. He's picked off again. And he's brought to the ground. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. First down at the 28. Gets the handle here. Keeps chugging along. Davis tackled down after a gain of 10. Davis is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. And Eric Reed brings a halt to that last attempt. The Packers know once they get inside the 20-yard line, you have to be able to run the football also. It can't be pass, pass, pass all the time. The offensive line comes through. Good solid run that time. That's second down coming up. The Packers come out and a bunch set. Hey, how about that? The defensive line, everybody's shifting to the left. I think they're expecting a run. Davis has got it on the handoff. And pick up about four. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? The Packers' offense has switched sides now and has the football as we begin the fourth quarter. Stepping up to the line at the six-yard line. The defensive line now shifting to a spread look. They're going to try to pressure the quarterback on this play. And now here's the toss. Over the line. Touchdown. Early in the fourth, and they look to have seized control of this one with that touchdown. Boy, I think they did. Now it's up to the defense. Go out there and shut the opponent's offense down. If you do that, this game is in the bag. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. And he'll start his return. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The 49ers just gave up some big turnover points. And let's see if they can hold on to the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you, you make mistakes on the field, they're going to get, they're going to be forgiving to a point, but you got to be smart, you got to be efficient, and get the job done. They get set quickly, ready for another snap. Now he's going to change the play and look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Another interception. Early in the fourth, and if there was ever a thought of a miracle comeback, that interception pretty much ended it. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure they ever thought this could be a miracle comeback in this game. It's been bad all day long, I feel. You know, I actually feel bad for them throwing that interception because they just can't seem to do anything right on the offensive side. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Searching for space to the right. And that's a gain of 13. That's an awesome job by the offense picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art, and this team is good at it. First and ten. Davis going to secure the handoff. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. He's averaging right around seven yards per carry on the game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Ohio! Ohio! Run, let's go! <laughs> Hand off. Trying to fight through right up the middle of the field.
third and two here after the run. They call his number once more. And he's tackled, but not until we pick up the first down. He's got over 110 yards rushing on the day. Press coverage all the way. It's a two tight end formation. First down and 10. He takes it on the counter. He's taken down at the 42. When you have a defense that's not playing good techniques, they're selling out, overplaying plays while you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. Second and three after that last carry. Lacey lines up in the backfield. Gets it again. Davis met at the 44. The Packers have clearly enjoyed being able to take the air out of the football when needed today. And Davis is dominated on the ground. There is nothing like dominating a football game physically. They have overwhelmed the defense and a good job by the offensive coordinator managing this game today. Packers have it at the 44. Toss to the outside. And that game's won. Davis is looking for a place to run the football that time to pick up the third down and short, but nowhere to go. Offensive line gets dominated. Now it's fourth down. They're in punting formation. The punt is kicked out of bounds. The 49ers' last possession ended painfully with a pick. And I wonder how they're going to handle the football this time around, Phil. Well, listen, I think they'll handle it a little differently, no doubt. I thought it was a bad call on the interception. It just put the quarterback and the offense in such a bad situation, and they were not able to overcome that. The pass is incomplete. There was no one open. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. And it leads to another incomplete pass. It's now second down. The Packers with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Get ready. They're setting up screen. Picks up eight here. The 49ers understand just get whatever yards you can every time you run a play. That's what they do that time. It's a short completion. But look what position it puts them here. In on third down, this is something they can handle. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. The 49ers go with the pass that time on third and short. The defense was ready, and they stopped the pass. Now we have a fourth down situation. The 49ers will go for it here on fourth down and a short yardage situation. Jim, look at that. The defensive line now shifting to the right. This might not be nice to say, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. The Packers stalled on their last drive, forced a punt. So now the offense comes back out onto the field. Yeah, they're coming back out. They lack confidence, and I understand why. They came out, couldn't get anything done. The defense was flying around making the plays. Uh, they got to change the tempo of this game. This one's in the books. 
They step up to the nine yard line. Takes the knee. Now looking at third down. Takes the knee. Should be an easy one here. And the kick is good for three. And that field goal pretty much locks it up. We don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime comebacks on this situation. No, I don't expect that. Now it's time to just start thinking then. Having good thoughts in your mind. Don't do anything stupid. Enjoy the fact that you played well all day long. And victory is in grasp. Makes the catch at the seven. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The 49ers take the field on offense. They have been manhandled here throughout today, Phil. And what can they take out of these last few minutes that could be positive for them? Well, you know, Jim, in a situation like this, there's really nothing you can do now that's going to make you feel better or give you something to carry over into next week. So don't be looking for it. Try to end the game and just know today the team on the other side beat you up and they were the better team. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. He'll take the snap from the gun. Gets it out for the completion. And he's brought down right at the 42. If you got a defensive back that's scared to death and, and not going to give up the big play, you've got to run things like this. The out route. Nice route by the wide receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. Complete. Players from both sides made an appeal, but the referees say it's on the defense. The corners retreating. First and five. Brings it into his body. He'll pick up seven this time. Well, if you guard the tight end close, it, it, sometimes that doesn't matter. They're so big and they got long arms. They can still make the catch. Quarterbacks give them a chance. They get it done. First down on the way. Quarters formation here for the defense. From the gun. Almost intercepted that time. Nice job that time by the defensive player. He is all over the receiver in this man-to-man -man coverage. And there was just nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Second down following that incompletion. Let's go, Z. 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 From the gun. Flag is out. Lays out and makes the catch. Bill declined the penalty and let the play stand. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Takes it from the gun. Throws the pass. And looking underneath, this will go incomplete. Play number six coming up on this drive. No bump coverage here. Corners backing up. Second and ten. He's got the catch. Fights off the hit. One team's hopes have been dashed. The other gets to live for another week. And one step away from a possible Super Bowl. Heading on to the conference championship next week. All right, Phil, after this win today, they're now one step away from going to the Super Bowl. This victory today in the divisional round. It's, it's exciting times, Jim. This is, you, you know what? Soon as you go out on the field for warm-ups, you go, 
boy, this is different. It's special. And if you can just put 60 minutes of solid football together, you get a chance to go to the Super Bowl. So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.